Hey, what's going on, maniacs? You know who it is. Madman here. So, what's doing? Well, if you read the title, you probably know what's doing, but I'm going to tell you anyway. So, what's doing is I'm doing another product review, another product deal slash review, whatever you want to call it. And uh, today's topic happens to be on the Rustler regular fit jeans, five pocket jeans, and the good old fashioned dicky jacket, keeping it plain, keeping it simple. So a quick recap for those that are just tuning in for the very first time. On my channel, I try to cover a little bit of everything about the, the greaser and rockabilly community. And uh, one of the things that I do is I oftentimes do product deal videos that are linked in with my Amazon affiliate account. So for those that may not have access to getting these things at stores near you or you don't quite know what stores to go to well at least you have some reference and you can get some stuff off Amazon this is really good for people that are overseas and don't get a lot of the American uh, brand clothing and don't have the stores that we have here so it's kinda good for them as well but I like to do product deal videos because everybody's looking for that sweet jacket everybody's looking for that right pair of jeans that fits just perfectly and they want the boots and the hats and all that kind of cool stuff, you know what I mean? Now a couple months back I decided to use up one of my Amazon gift cards and I went ahead and I got myself a pair of Rustler jeans and a dicky jacket. Stuff that I used to wear way back in the day. For anybody that watches this channel knows my history. If you don't, go back, start watching some through watch through some of my videos and you'll get a quick idea who I am and what I've done and how many years experience I have, you know, being in the Greece or Rockabilly community and all that kind of crap. Now the funny thing is for the longest time I could not remember what the brand of jeans that I used to wear in high school. And for those that have seen a lot of my pictures from high school, I'll go ahead and throw some up wherever, you know, wherever it looks nice. Um, you'll see that these are the exact same kind of jeans that I'm wearing in this video. And I even shot some B-roll footage and kind of show off the, uh, the actual look with the jacket and the jeans and the pockets and the this and the that and how you can carry cool stuff. But I couldn't for the life of me remember what jeans I used to get. And I remember I got them for $10 at Walmart. I used to save up my money in high school and I'd go and get a pair of jeans whenever I had a little extra money. And hell, they're only 10 bucks. And that too is important in the greaser scene you know all of us cats we didn't grow up with a whole lot of money you may do with what you had if your parents bought you some some jeans or something that was on sale then that's pretty much what you wore and rustler were always pretty much on sale ten bucks at that time I think I got these on Amazon for fifteen but then again you know it's it's been a minute you know my high school years were the early to mid two thousands and I know some of you that's not a very long time uh, well it's been a minute but anyway, I remember one night I was chatting with my buddy Big Bird. Those that have watched the channel, you know who I'm talking about. And I was chatting with him. I was like, man, I can't remember those jeans that I used to get. You know, the stuff, the jeans that we used to get in high school. He goes, I think they were Rustler, dude. And I was like, oh, that's right. I think they were. So I went online and started looking. And sure enough, I found them. And I'm like, perfect. I got to order some. So I ordered some a couple months ago. And I've been meaning to do a review on these, and I just hadn't got around to it because I got the dicky jacket at the same time. So I figured, let's go ahead, let's uh, go ahead and do a review. Keep it short, keep it simple, keep it basic. That's part of the greaser style, you know. That's kind of what it's all about: keeping it simple. And uh, the clothing really makes sense for the style and, and the time period that it was worn in, and it's still very cool to this day. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put up some B-roll clips that I shot. You guys can you know, see the jeans, how they're worn, um, ideas, what you can do with the pockets, and you know, kind of show off the outfit a little bit, and you guys get an idea. And then I'll take you onto Amazon, you and me, together, and we'll take a look at it and where to get them, and I'll explain all that as we go. You dig? So let's get to it. All right, so... Here we got the outfit in its entirety. And we got old Madman lighting up. Got to do it. Got to do it. <clears throat> so this is a mixture of the jacket with the jeans. 
and uh, kind of how it looks on me and how it fits and uh, everything fits just perfect. You know, I made sure I bought the right sizes so everything would fit just the way I wanted it to. Okay, starting with the jacket, we got a nice little inside pocket carry anything you like in there. And, uh, you know, it has a nice zipper. Zipper works really well as well. Um, we got the nice front pockets. You can carry your cigarettes, anything you like in there. And then we'll be transitioning over into that little side pocket where you can put tools or pencils or whatever you like. Making our way over to the jeans, we got a nice five pocket style pair of rustler jeans. And as you can see, I got my pocket watch. I like to keep it in that little coin pocket. And, uh, you know, a nice durable back pocket for, you know, good chain wallet. Uh, the thing I like about these jeans is they're very thick. The denim is nice and thick. It's durable, great for working. Uh, carry my combs in my other pockets. This is my basic setup and kind of where I carry everything. And, you know, five pocket jeans, that style works really good. And they have nice deep front pockets so you can carry your loose change or your keys or whatever you like. And that doesn't come sliding out, you know, like other jeans that have shorter pockets. And, of course, you got to have a place for your knife. And I'll carry my knife in my front pocket with a nice clip on there. And, uh, you know, with those deep pockets, again, it just works really, really well. I also bought my jeans a bit longer so I could do a little bit bigger on the cuffs. I wanted those cuffs to be, you know, a little bit longer. So if you like that, buy them, buy the jeans longer. Or you can always uh, get yourself a nice t-shirt from the Madman at my Teespring store. It looks great with these jeans and that jacket. You dig? All right, so what do we got here? The Rustler Classic Men's Classic Regular Fit Jean. All right, we got a price range from fourteen ninety nine to twenty six seventeen. Now I paid like fifteen. I think that was fifteen and some change, or a little bit with shipping, or no way makes sense. I think I ordered a couple things out of the jacket and the jeans together. I think I paid a little bit less because no shipping or whatever. But anyway, moving forward, it's got a four and a four and a half star rating. It's pretty good. Of course, we got all the different sizes here as well. So you're gonna want to go through that and. You got a nice size chart to help you out, figure out where you're at. And then, of course, we got a couple colors. We got the black. We've got the uh, pre wash, which is the ones I got that you've seen, and then the uh, the uh, stone wash as well. I prefer I prefer the um, you know the pre washed ones. And there's a couple different views so you can kind of see what we got here. Same exact jeans. Absolute great. I've been wearing them since high school. Well, let me go back to this one here. Oh, wait a minute. There, there we go. All right. 100% cotton imported, zipper closure, machine wash, regular fit through seat and thigh, five pocket styling, straight leg, show more. Heavyweight, durable denim, and belt loops. And that is very true. It's very rugged, very durable. They're, again, they're pretty much the same exact thing that I got back in the day that you guys have seen pictures of and I've shown pictures of here in this video. And uh, so far, I'm still loving them just like I did back then. And here we got the Dickies Men's Insulated Eisenhower Front Zip Jacket. It's the exact same one I'm wearing right now. Of course, this has got another four and a half star reviews. Very, very good. Price is $32.99 to $78.29. And of course, the price fluctuates depending on the size of jacket you get and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, they've got all kinds of different sizes here. And, uh, different colors. So you got like the dark brown, the navy, charcoal, got the black, the khaki, Lincoln green, dark brown, navy again. So I prefer the black ones or the, uh, the navy or the charcoal, but you know, you get what you like you know, to your heart's content. And of course, it comes with a size chart so you can figure out where you're at and what size you should get. Give you a couple different views of it here. Absolutely. See, and it makes a great work jacket. So I'm kind of glad they got that picture there because it is a real good uh, jacket. And it is water resistant, which is nice. It's not waterproof, but it does have a water resistant or liquid resistancy to it, which is very, very nice. And let's go ahead and check out what we got here. 65% polyester, 35% cotton, imported, machine wash, classic workwear. This is tough, versatile jacket, has classic styling, rugged durability, superior comfort, yada, yada, yada. yada. 
sturdy and functional, quality comfort. I mean, you guys see this all right here, you know. And like I said, I've always been a big fan of dicky jackets and stuff. And we wore them back in the day. Uh, never could go wrong with the dicky pants or the jackets. And I know I've covered the jackets before, but I'm covering it again because I got a new one. I wanted to size down a little bit, make it a little snugger to me and something a little bit more new, not so ratty. And the other ones I had, they're pretty old and pretty beat up. And I had them when I was a bit heavier and lifting weights and stuff. So I wanted to size down a little bit. And of course, I had to go right back to Dickie. Can't go wrong with it. It's an American classic. Pretty cool stuff, huh? I agree. I concur. Do you concur? Do you concur? Do you concur? We all concur. All right, we're moving forward. If you don't, well, tough shit. Anyway, moving forward. You know, it's like I've said before, it's not about brands. You know, it's about getting the style right. If you can find something for a good price and that, you know, meets your needs and are comfortable and it's going to work for you, then get that shit. Do it. Do it! It's very simple. If it's comfortable, it's affordable, it meets your style criteria, then go for it. I had great luck with these jeans back in the day. Uh, they're still made the same way, the same quality, rugged, durable, comfortable, and they look right. And the price was right. Now, it would be kind of cool to get some of that sweet sponsor money because then they'd be free. You know what they say, if it's free, it's for me. And of course, you know, the good old Dickie jacket. That thing has always come through in a pinch, and especially lately it's been coming through in a pinch. I mean, you figure uh, we're in spring, but man, the weather has been kind of cold and rainy for the last couple of weeks, and only now it's really starting to warm back up. So this jacket's really come in handy. You know, it's that part where it's you don't really want to wear leather because it's not that cold, but it's still cold enough where you get a bit of a chill. So it's a good dicky jacket, it'll see you through. Dickies, if you're watching this, sponsor, huh? I've already covered a bunch of your stuff. Love you. Now, I'm going to address something before I let you guys go. Now, you're thinking, hey, you know, I, I really want to help support the madman. I really want to be able to, like, donate or help out, but I'm saving up for that sweet jacket. I'm saving up for them boots or jeans or that hat or that wallet that you're looking for. And I get that because I was there in high school myself. Not a lot of disposable income, and you're trying to build your wardrobe. It's like I've told you guys. You don't build it all in one go. You build it little bit at a time. You know what I mean? But you're figuring, how can I help support the madman? Well, Madman has decided to kill two birds with one stone. So what I did is I set up a Amazon influencer page. It's kind of like a like a web store that you can go to that has a whole bunch of Amazon stuff. And I got everything on there, man. Like I've been really pushing it and putting stuff and hand picking all the things that go on that store, not some like auto crap where I go, well gee, we put some tags in and Anything that shows up will go in there. No, I've actually handpicked these things. And a lot of these things that are in my influencer store, you guys have already seen. Some of them, at least. Stuff that I actually own and have reviewed and done product deal videos with. Okay, So you're going to find those things there. Everything from jackets to boots to hats, uh, rings, uh, chain wallets, knives, oh hell, t-shirts, bowling shirts, dress shoes, casual... Uh, whether you're a, a you know rebellious wild one or just a bebop and hep cat, man, I got a little something for everybody on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start posting that influencer link in the description below so you guys can click on that. Because you may not just want to get a dicky jacket right now or you could give a fuck less about the wrestler jeans. But maybe you are looking for some cool Oxfords you know, or some other kind of shoes or other alternatives. Or maybe you want to get a cool striped t-shirt. Or maybe you're looking for that really sick chain wallet you've been looking for or a cool motorcycle hat or whatever well i got you covered and by doing that and shopping through my links that helps out the madman and helps out my channel you dig because the madman is affiliated with amazon and i did sign up for my influencer page god like last year but i hadn't really done much with it it really does help out the channel because i get a small commission off of every sale made so when you get that cool motorcycle hat guess what madman gets a small commission from amazon for you making your purchase so you're helping out the channel, and you're saving up and getting yourself something cool at the same time. Two birds, one stone, and I got a lot of great stuff on there. So again, all links mentioned will be in the description below. Go give them a click. Go check them out. Do it to your heart's content. 
So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. It was helpful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, thumb up, favorite, hit the notification bell. That way you can keep up with old madman, all my antics and all the crap that I'm getting up to. And trust me, there's a lot more coming, even unbeknownst to me, because I never know quite what I'm going to do next. It's always a process here with the madman. So anyway, hopefully everybody's doing good out there. And if you don't know, get a clue, get a brew, get a rock and roll tattoo. Hang loose and be safe and Madman will catch you on the flip side. Madman out.